Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already and let's get straight into this one. I've tied my hair up already as the first step and I've just put the beautiful wig cap on. They come in all sorts of colours but the main purpose is to keep your hair secure and flat and now onto the wig. This is my rose gold wig. It's luxury, synthetic, heat safe, lace front and um, the first step of kind of customizing the wig is cutting the lace. So you can see there's about an inch thickness of lace front there and we just want to trim the excess lace that doesn't have any hairs sewn onto it to just kind of reveal a nice hairline. And um, I'm just kind of using normal kitchen scissors really, craft scissors rather. And you can see this actually has a nice little part in it already. This wig comes with clips included. They're all from ccclark.com, designed by me. I absolutely love these wigs. But you can fasten um, the kind of strap on the back to make it tighter for your head as well. Now don't put the wigs on like a hat. You want to flip it from the nape of the neck and kind of put your head into it if that makes sense and then flip it over because this is the most secure way to apply a wig and you can see it's nice and secure the hairline looks very dense so we're about to customize it to make it look more natural i'm using my tweezerman and huda beauty tweezers to just pluck um a hairline so it looks a little bit more sparse and natural and here i'm just kind of combing forward some hairs to create baby hairs to make the hairline look really natural because we all have baby hairs and this is really part of making the wig look like it's your own hair. So they're kind of all over the place at the moment. We do need to lay them flat but before that I'm going to take some concealer and sneeze. <laughs> um, this is my Huda Beauty foundation. I'm using this to conceal my hairline and to just um, yeah kind of emanate a hairline using concealer. It's obviously a bit of trickery as well. People just see it and think that it's obviously skin and it matches your um, foundation on your face as well. So I'm kind of applying this a bit roughly and then I continue to kind of use any darker eyeshadows to just pat away any of the foundation that's on the hair and not the net. Now I'm using the mousse to lay down those baby hairs. So you can use gel, you can use wax. I'm just using a bit of mousse and laying them down so they lay flatly, lay flat on my forehead. So it just really looks like real little baby hairs, I guess. And um, this, yeah, I really, really love this technique because people just have no idea that it's a wig when you include this part because it does look like a natural hairline using a little bit of powder as well and yeah I'm just so pleased with how natural it looks but now for the next step I'm taking my I think these are Coralist straighteners actually and I'm straightening this wig so this is the synthetic however it's heat safe and I am just loving the Kim K straight vibes at the moment and look at the difference I am obsessed with this wig so yeah I absolutely absolutely love this. I hope this has helped you. Please do give this a thumbs up if this has helped you. Um, and also stay tuned because the next couple of minutes I'm going to be showing you the rest of my collection. <laughs> And here's the last one. I hope you enjoyed. Please do subscribe if you haven't already, darlings. And just a little disclaimer, I didn't actually customise all the hairlines of all of these other wigs, but of course it's very possible. Love you lots. See you on the next one. Bye. <laughs> right, that's that then. Oh my God.